Hey guys, this is your inspirational nurse underscore RN Tierra coming to you live with another great video. So I have a big announcement on this video. So I just want to say thank you for all who subscribe. I'm sorry it's been a hot minute, but you guys won't be disappointed. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I haven't been active on my page and what I have been up to. As you know, I am your inspirational RN, formal LPN, did various roles in healthcare, and I wanted to create a community where non-experienced, experienced people can come on the page and just get different information about different things. That's very important. Some of it that they don't teach you out in the world. I've been a nurse going on seven years now total um by the bedside and so i wanted to share something really big with you guys and i just want to say hey to all my youtube family i really really miss you guys um so let's get straight into it let's just jump into it guys so as you know today is uh wednesday july 13th and time has been going by super fast um, I currently am in my last class for my BSN. I had to repeat one of the classes because what my degree requirements was at the time clashed with my last title I had as a RN. I was your assistant nursing director, unit manager, and several other jobs. So we will talk about that on another video on what happened. But in this video, I wanted to share something super, super important with you guys. And I wanted to make an announcement. And so, drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. Act like y'all hearing some drum rolls. So, I am now your new CEO of my own residential assistant living. Yes, I said it. The cat is out the bag. I have been so busy um, with some things that happened at my last workplace um, where I'm at currently. And so I'm trying to figure out a way to integrate my new role and also integrate um, this channel. If I'm going to keep it all on one channel or am I going to do a new channel that just have the business um, blogs and things on there just that related to the business on this channel we discuss everything nursing let's talk about it y'all know i like to put it out on the front street because most of the time then you're not going to learn every little thing in school or if you're just interested in the field you just want the juice you know how you get to the best part of the meat is what you're going to do on this channel so i thank you guys for staying patient i have been working my tail off for now since may establishing my business and i am so excited i just wanted to say a quick thing um i was inspired by god i literally was asleep and woke up and i was in a house with patients and i'm looking around and literally they were like in the house and i was like what are y'all doing in my house <laughs> and like i got it i got the message that god wanted me to move forward with a business plan now it's so funny because when god asks you to do something most of the time, if you think back, somebody has said something to you in the past related to this business or whatever God wants you to do. So in the past, I had people like ask me, especially during COVID, I had family members actually beg me, do you don't have nothing on the side? I mean, we love for you to care for our, our family member. Uh, we love your energy. Uh, you have to do something on the side. I'm like, do something on the side. I am exhausted. And as you nurses know out there, Whatever you are in this field, it's exhausting. Um, you go to work and you give yourself 100% and you drain. You mean you drain all energy out of you and you burn out and you get home and you're so non-motivated or you just, you don't have that thing that just make you want to get up and do it every day. Depending on what you do. Now, some people find a niche in the field, which is always amazing when you can find that unit or that team or that thing that make you just go crazy and your brain just keep thinking about it and in, in, in bigger levels and, and, and different aspects of it. And so um, I wanted to tie my faith with my business um, because at the end of the day, God is in the core of this business. So the business model is my faith. And so everything is surrounding that. And it's so crazy how he works. Um, 
he has sent so many people my way. As soon as I accepted the assignment, literally God sent so many people just volunteering. Like I didn't even have to ask people to do things. They were already doing it. Like, oh, I'm going to do this for you. I got this part. I got this part. Hey, I could do this for you. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even get there yet. It's so funny because sometimes God can see you um, already established and successful, but you're still processing everything. And if you're like me, I process my emotions very slow. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe because my childhood was tough, but my emotions is all over the place. And the way the business is going, the levels that it's going to is extremely crazy. Um, and I started this thing with just my faith in God and no money and no way to figure out like how I was going to do it. Um, I owned a business in the past, but it was just like a daycare. So I have some business ideas um, or just some knowledge of certain things. But as far as this type of business, um, you know. I started from scratch and been building this from day one. And it's been like, I can't tell you how amazing it feels to be your own boss, um, to invest in yourself. It's just, I can't explain. It's like the best feeling in the world. It's like a, it's like a big hug from God. Like God, you know how you get that hug from, from grandma and when she squeezes you tight and she, it just feels like, like comforting and securing your future. And the amount of time that you put into it is you're you're investing in yourself and God's vision for yourself. It is an amazing, amazing feeling. Um, I always people. It's funny because once I accept it, everybody like, yo, we already knew you was going to be in business. Like you are, you're a business person. You're a bossy person. I could be a little bossy, but you know, you like, we already know this is what you were supposed to be doing. And I was just like, I guess I just needed time to like take it all in um and it's funny because my i met someone that like i was getting my booster shot for my vaccine and for my last job and i met this lady and she was just like talking to me and she was like yeah because you know my niece you know she's opening up a assistant living and, and i was just like oh okay i didn't think nothing of it and when i used to work at an at assistant living as an opn back in the day um I had somebody tell me, no, don't start your business. Wait till you're RN so you won't have to hire RN. I was just like, what? It was just so weird. Now that I go back in time, I'm like, uh, this is crazy. Not only did God give me a business plan, but I was able, able to find a location. I mean, all these things with just, with just my faith and trust in God. Like, only reason why I bring God up because literally some people feel like it it they like it's extremely hard to do a business or like to take on a big task but the way god works and when you're faithful and you just trust and you rest rest meaning you give god control and you say god you know what i'm i'm willing to do whatever you want me to do i'm a willing vessel literally that's what you need to do and like god will do everything else for you it's kind of like having like butler service you ever went on vacation and just had the best butler service ever i had my first butler service on vacation not too long ago and it was like the best experience like you don't have to do anything they book all your reservations they find out all the events for you and they text you every morning make sure you have your favorite drink and your food and it's like having that type of service as far as like God taking over and, and doing everything for you. And all you're doing is walking in your purpose. That's literally all you're doing is literally being, trusting this whole process. Um, not only that, God has been connected with me with people, with resources, with people that's been, that's experienced, that saw my vision and is like going more harder than me. That's how you know it's time for you to have your own business. When you have people that just come up to you and say, you know what, I'm gonna do your marketing. Hey, you know what, I'm gonna work for you. Hey, you know what, I'm gonna do this for you. Hey, you know what, I'm working on this for you. I have a friend that was working on stuff for me before I even asked. It was just crazy, just crazy how God worked. It's just, it just, this whole experience just blew my, me and my husband's like a whole mind of, you know, because sometimes we think like this and God is thinking like this. Um, 
And it could be a little scary and your anxiety can build when your faith is not that strong. Um, so it's so all you have to do literally is just be willing. You don't have to be perfect neither. You just have to be willing and God will open your, it's like he'll open your mind up to so many other business plans and things that he's trying to do for his people. Just keep in mind, now that I think back and just think about now, there's so many people about to be out of their homes and homeless because of the rent that tripled. Like that's happening nationwide. People are about to be out of their homes. Seniors need help. I worked, I was managing a nursing home and these people were back in nursing homes every week because the, the family are, that there was caring for them are young and they just, they, they gotta go to work and they have no way to put, put their mom and their dad and their grandparents. And so I've seen the cycle. I have family members that's in the same cycle, like back to nursing home, back in the hospital, back to rehab, back to the hospital, back to rehab. And so I think that God's timing and now always too, here's another tip how you know it's time. It's usually when God is going to do something big is always when you're at your, at your, not your lowest point, but at a time in your life where it's not in a natural perfect timing, meaning bills and finances and certain things is occurring in your natural life that you're like, right now you want me to do this, right? But when God does it, he doesn't just do one little piece of thing. He does like whole, he opened up so many doors that it will blow your mind of what he can do. Like I never doubted him. I had to literally step down. I heard God tell me that I could not start unless I stepped down for what I was doing currently working, what I was working at currently. And it was really tough. Um, and I was so excited anyway, working seven days a week was tiring. I said, God, if you can give me my plan where I can still do what I love, but not drain myself and kill myself and not see my kids and my family and, you know, and still, still combine the two. Cause it's all about balance for me. I have to have balance in my life because I do so many different things as just one person. And so being a military wife, kids, school, work, house, all types of stuff. And it's, it's just so much. So balance for me is very important. Um, but I'm so excited, y'all. I'm going to spill the tea on everything once I launch and I will bring you guys on this journey and I'll also update you guys on if I'm going to create another page for the business or try to integrate um, the two because I would love to keep you guys on this journey with me it has been so much of, of a cool roller coaster ride just opening up a business literally means you get to put your you get to customize a plan that works for the patient population you are targeting um, is not intimidating. It's only intimidating when it's not something you, you have some doubts about it. You, you have to be confident going into owning a business and being successful. You have to be confident. You can't be freaking out. You have to make, be able to make decisions on the spot. You got to be able to manage. Um, you got to be able to do the research and do the, do the footwork. Um, and God would do the rest. Literally, all you got to do is just be willing. And like every day I've been on it, literally on it to the point where my accountant was like, well, you did everything, Ms. Fleming. So I'm just like, I know. Um, so, you know, I want to have a channel that discuss business plans and how I develop relationships with the community and getting this thing afloat. And it's only been three months since I established this business and it's, I'm already about to launch my I'm supposed to launch next month God's willing but um, I will give you all the tea it is so possible to get it all done um, and just share the journey because I think sharing is caring but also I will love to introduce to you guys that I will be your new coach uh, life coach the person you can call when you have questions about just life and kids and marriage and school and this and that and decisions. Um, it's good to have somebody you can call that
that has been through some things and I have been through some things. So I think my pain um, led me to my purpose. The hurt that the rejection, people's um, expectations on me, uh, trying to control my career, trying to destroy my career, my reputation. And what I realized is that nobody can take away something that God gave you. Once God gives you something, it is yours. No one, no man can destroy that. No man can take things away from you that God's promises. No man can change God's promises over your life. Once you learn that, you will have so much more peace. So when things do happen, you don't always freak out. You don't be like, oh, no, I'm about to fight this person. Ain't no need to fight these people no more because people just stabbing and shooting and calling 911. There's no point of even going there. No point for the Brooklyn me to come out because there's no purpose. No, that's not making me look any better. So you have to be able to see what God is doing too. So sometimes as believers, we can't see what God is doing because there's something in our life that's causing us to be blind to the truth. And so we have to check ourselves and make sure there's no open doors from the past. Um, we are not, you know, not loving ourselves enough to take the leap of faith and do things that God asks us to do. Um, we are not, we don't have much time. The world's already going crazy. If you realize what's going on around you, um, you will definitely get on board. And I'm so excited to take you guys on this journey with me. I have been working my tail off. Um, my husband and I have just been working, I mean, working our tail off. So I'm so excited, guys. I hope y'all excited with me. Um, my kids were all just celebrating. Um, I'm just super excited, super excited. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, thank you for all new subscribers coming into the community. Yo, this this thing about to take off. Um, I just can't wait to to discuss this. To go from bedside to CEO is crazy. Um, you can do it. It's definitely doable. Um, you definitely have to have a strong plan and um, a strong faith because the enemy will try to send distractions and try to send people that want to attach themselves to you because they know what God is getting ready to birth. It's kind of like almost having a baby when you're at that labor and you're about to birth and you get, you're having all these contractions and, you know, all the pain and all the stuff you don't been through for the pregnancy. God is getting ready to birth something crazy big. He's up to something big always. Always know when he's up to something big, when your life is going crazy in your natural life. You're like, yo, everything is happening. That's how you know God is working behind the scenes. So you can't always get this not encouraged because of what your situation looks like because your situation can change. So you don't want to base your feelings off situations. I used to base my feelings off of situations and it got me in a lot of fights and a lot of trouble because I used to base my feelings off of it. Not realizing that in seconds, God can change my situation and turn it around for my good. But because I let it mess with me, I only delayed my blessings and blocked my own blessings. So you cannot let your situations are just temporarily. I hear God say it's just temporarily. Whatever you're going through is just only going to last a short while. You can weather the storm. God gave you everything to weather the storm. So stay strong and stay faithful because God is doing big, big things. And he's, he's so excited to do it for you because he loves his children. That's what he does. So I am your girl, T. Era. I also will be doing a video on my last role that I had as ADO and a unit manager and my experience. Because you guys know I like to share that as like a journal entry. Like, okay, this has been my experience. So I can always go back and reflect how I was feeling and kind of what happened. And as you guys know what's going on in healthcare, so stay safe. Um, watch it. Make sure you double checking your meds, double checking, verifying everything. Make sure you're being careful um, because there's so many things that's going on. Protect your license always. Um, I, I can't stress that enough. Protect it because they teach you that in nursing school to cover your butt. And it's really true when you're out working and you think you have friends in healthcare and then stuff happens and no one is your friend. Everybody turns on you. So be careful. Protect your license. And so I will talk to you guys later. Help me celebrate. I'm so excited. I am your new CEO and I'll talk to you guys later.